Hello friends, this is our question. How do we evaluate this? You can pause the video and try it yourself. Okay, let's start. So we have 5 raised to 67 times 20 raised to 64. This 67 can be written as 3 plus 64, right? So we will put this in place of 67. 5 raised to 3 plus 64 times 20 raised to 64. Now as per the rule, if we have a raised to b plus c, then it will be a raised to b times a raised to c. And according this rule, we can write this part as 5 raised to 3 times 5 raised to 64 times 20 raised to 64. Now these two have same exponent. So we can combine them. So in the next step we have 5 cube times 5 times 20 whole raised to 64. 5 cube times 5 times 20 is 100, so we can write 100 raised to 64. 5 cube is 125 times 100 is 10 square, so we can write like this, 10 square whole raised to 64. As we know, if we have a raised to b whole raised to c, then it will be a raised to b times c. So according this rule, these two can multiply. So in the next step, we have 125 times 10 raised to 2 times 64 is 128. Now let's convert this expression into a scientific notation. For that, this part must be greater or equal to 1 and smaller than 10. And this part can be 10 with any integers as an exponent. So 125 is greater than 10 so we can write 1.25 times 100 times 10 raised to 128 1.25 times 100 is 10 square times 10 raised to 128 we can combine these two because they have same base so 1.25 25 times 10 raised to 2 plus 128 is equal to 1.25 times 10 raised to 130, 130. That's the answer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We will meet in the next one. Bye bye.